Thank you. Thank you. When you watch the eye opener, I hate that. Can we do a wipe to that? She's the woman at the helm calling the shots. Morning, Todd, you there? Literally. My cue after three. Pin right a little on three. Take three both. Ready nine track for the tees. Here comes Doug. Ready right now. Wipe two cue. Eye opener director Donna Hennessy arrived at Channel 5 before it became WCVB. So, what year did you start in the TV business? In the late 60s. And I was at the old Channel 5, which was WHDH then. My first job out of Emerson College was with Bozo the Clown. Then we all came over here, and I started on the Eye Opener News in 1972 when we came over here as the assistant director. Donna actually directed the newscasts regularly, but for years, she was only given the title of assistant director. It was a sign of the times, yes, and as a, as a woman, you had to put up with a lot of things, so it was another 12 years until I officially became a director, but all that time I continued to direct the Eye Opener News, which I still do and love every second of it. When I first came here, we were live every, every morning. We did, you know, we did a, the farm and food, we did the Eye Opener, we did Dr. Tim Johnson's medical call, we did something called Opportunity Line, we did Romper Room Live. Donna worked during the old glory days of TV, when it wasn't unheard of to see people like Joan Rivers, James Taylor, and men who would go on to be president just roaming the hallways. I can remember the day that the control room door opened and in walks this guy and the audio guy screaming, who let this guy in? Who is this guy? And he walks down the line and says, hi, my name is Jimmy Carter and I'm running for president. And he's shaking everybody's hand in the control room and the audio guy's going, get him out of here. Who let him in here? But it's the people you haven't heard of that make up some of Donna's best memories here at Channel 5. I have to say my, my special time was um, when I got to be director and we had four women. It was all women show. And these were amazing women. And we did everything from um, live from P-Town to live from Stowe, Vermont, 35 years. And they're still my best friends. There were four of us. They called us the big four. And it was Donnie, Bonnie, Ronnie, and Deb. For that time, for four women to be running a show, that was probably unheard of, too. Totally unheard of. Totally. That's why it's so wonderful to walk into the newsroom now and see so many women. And you like to think you had a little bit to do with it. A lot to do with it. She had to, to walk the walk before anybody else could walk in the door. Ask any woman in the newsroom, Rondella included, and you'll hear them rave about Donna the director, Donna the dear friend, and Donna the straight shooter. There has never been a criticism that didn't make me better from Donna. Anything that I thought, I can't believe you're saying that to me. Thank God she did. What keeps you, first off, here for so many years? What keeps you in this business for so many years? I still love it, number one. If you weren't still working, what would you be doing? Probably mentoring young people that were just starting out, because that's what I love. What do you say to, you know, young women still facing some of those uphill battles. Go forward, be strong. If it's what you want to do, just push forward and do it. We are clear. Thank you all. Great shows, as always. I Look mean, at Donna go. That's awesome. She, she's so, and she's so kind. She's yes, so talented, yes. but also so, and, and we have to say stylish. Donna oh. has <laughs> style. Absolutely.